this may be my next motorcycle. The Street Glide and the Ultra for someone who's six foot six, which bike do I fit better on? You're gonna be surprised. Start this way and make it look like that. To take this and turn it into that. And the main reason for that is we're going to be talking about these two motorcycles here. The one to my right is a Harley Davidson Street Glide, and the one to my left is a Harley Davidson Ultra Limited. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you the differences between both of the bikes and some of the things you might know, some of the things you may have overlooked. So, let's get into the video. Gonna start off with this beautiful beautiful street glide special before we go over to the limited over there the ultra limited the street glide special comes with a 114 comes with the smaller engine guards instead of the fuller size engine guards that you have on a street glide standard in 2021 harley davidson decided to make the 114 blacked out and in chrome so 2021's first year you can get chrome and a blacked out special and this one they chose it in the all blacked out and it is a beautiful bike this is one awesome looking motorcycle to the point that I'm always thinking about having this in my garage because I have a standard, but this bike is a good looking bike. Maybe I'll trade. You'll have to keep watching to find out. Now let's go over here to the Ultra Limited. Now, there's a lot of things on this bike that you don't get on the street glide in the past and i've even said it before the only difference between the street glide and the ultra limited is the tour pack not even close there's so many differences between both of the bikes the reason why people make this mistake is because of this you see both of them have the bat wing fairing and for the most part they look very similar and most people think the only difference is is the tour pack you see how the Ultra Limited has a tour pack, and you see how the Street Glide does not have the tour pack. But it's so much more than that. So let's start off with the front of the motorcycle here. With the Ultra, you have the spot lamps here. So let's turn them on. The passing lamps or the uh, spotlights, depends on what you want to call them. The Street Glide it just has your turn signals right here. The taller windscreen that you have. I'm starting off with the most common things first. The Street Glide, short and tinted when this one is tall and clear if i was getting ultra limited this would be the one that i would buy but look it has limited right there that looks awesome the 18 inch wheels in the front 18 inch eight spoke wheels the street glide has 19 inch wheels in the front the ultra also has 18 inch in the rear the street glide it's going to have 18 inches in the rear the stance of a street glide is different than the stance of an ultra the ultra is level you can see it doesn't run down like the street glide the street glide goes at a slant well i have a 19 street glide standard i lift it up the rear end put some o-link suspension on it and it helps the way the motorcycle handles and performs it really makes a difference when you lift the rear end up and make it level just like this bike so if you rode both bikes, you would notice that this Ultra, it's gonna turn in real easy. It's gonna feel great. The Ultra handles awesome. It, that is the ultimate touring motorcycle that Harley Davidson makes when you get out on the road. Fantastic riding motorcycle. But here's the thing about that. This motorcycle has a lower seat height of 26.1 versus the seat height of the Ultra is 27.5. So more than an inch difference in seat height. And you can see that, how it stands. Pay attention to the ground clearance of the Street Glide versus the ground clearance of the Ultra. And again, that all goes back to how the, the shocks are in the rear. The Street Glide shocks in the rear are shorter. I believe they might be 11. Somebody fact check me on that. On my motorcycle, I took them up to 13. 
and I think these come standard with 13. I'm not 100% sure. Somebody put that in the comments below, let everybody know. But having the bike level, it's gonna make that motorcycle handle and perform just that much better. So, the street glide, the look of the squat, it makes the bike look good, but it's not helping it perform as well as the Ultra Limited. I showed you the spotlights. I talked about the 18s versus 19 on this one. You have 18s on both. Let's go back a little bit further. The lowers that they have. Street Glide Special does not have lowers. It actually has these lower style engine guards that if you wanted to put some lowers on it, you'd have to get the full size engine guards. That's what my uncle did. He took his 2021 Street Glide Special, he put some lowers on it, so he changed over to the full size engine guards instead of the small mustache bars. Here's another trick that the Ultra has that the Street Glide doesn't have. And these lowers, they're not just for storage like on my motorcycle. They're useful because the bike is twin cooled. Now what that means, is it's liquid cooling around the heads to keep the heads cool. And that is only an air all cooled motorcycle. You can see the all cooler on the front. Now, how cool would it be to have a street glide with liquid cooled heads, twin cooled heads? That would be pretty awesome. Cause my bike already has uh, lowers on it and I like the looks of the lowers and that would look really good on a street glide. Harley, you should make that. And you have the vents down here that you can close the lowers and open them up right here to allow some air to get in. Speaking of air, the air cleaners, very noticeable difference. Shares the same design as on a standard, but it's blacked out. You have on the special, the new air cleaner that they just came out with last year. And that looks, uh, I don't know if they, they came out with that air cleaner last year. Matter of fact, they made that for a while, but with the new 114 logo and design on there. So the air cleaners are totally different. More of an open air cleaner versus uh, a semi open air cleaner. You just see the, in the front here, it's the only place that you can get to where the air comes in. And then that brings us to the center stack, the center dash, the console. I'm still not sure what they call it. This here is the dash, center console, center stack, whatever you want to call it. But it's domed. You have the button that you push the, where the gas cap is. Right here on the special, it's not like this. Gas filler is on the right side and the center console, center stack, center dash, whatever it's called. It's just nice and smooth. It doesn't have anything right here like a big dome. It flows really nice. Now, to be honest with you, when that first came out, I didn't like that, but now I like it. I like it a whole lot better because it kind of reminds me of a CVO. It's pretty much like a CVO. Even on the standard, it's going to have this. But what's unique to um, Ultra Limited this right here that is for your intercom this bike is made to crush miles this may be my next motorcycle as much as i love my street glide this bike as far as long distance traveling just does everything right intercom system there and it plugs in for the back passenger right here you see the inside of the fairing is basically the same as the in inside of the fairing on a street lot. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to make you dizzy moving you back and forth. The mirrors are attached to the bars. The mirrors are not attached to the fairing. If you're a fan of moving your bars up, getting taller bars or changing your bars out or whatever, like I did, I went with 10 inch bars and it moved them up right in front of the mirror. So I had to get drop down mirror brackets. If you haven't seen my bike, guys, check out my bike. You'll, you'll see all that stuff that I've done to it. And it moved the mirrors down here. Not the best look, but it's the only thing that I could do because I didn't really, well, I don't like the bars, the mirrors on the bars. I don't like that. Now we noticed the tour pack, but we also have to address the tour pack speakers here with the big tour pack backrest. And on this side here, you have volume control, you have change, you know, you change the channel, change everything up and down. And then the tour pack itself. No tour pack there, tour pack here. Now on the street glide, you have a tour pack docking station where you could put a tour pack on it. But this one already comes with the tour pack and has 12 volt power supply in it. And it has a luggage rack on top. So if you're traveling long distance, these luggage racks, I'm not a huge fan of the way they look. They, are, they come in handy if you need a luggage rack. For some reason, it looks right at home on this bike. The difference, look at the footboards. You see the footboards here, you see the brake pedal. And then on the street glide, 
you see, I forget what you call this collection with the three stripes. It's been here on the standards, on the special, but you can see the three stripes there. So you have a different footboard break. On the Ultra Limited, you have the full size footboards on the back versus Street Glide, kind of a peg style. I'm not gonna go into that now, but I'm gonna share with you why I fit the Street Glide better than this motorcycle. With this motorcycle, I have to make some adjustments in order to fit on it, but I know it would be the ultimate tour after I made the, made the adjustments. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Let's go around to the back. On the back here, you have a third brake light and you have your turn signals on your tour pack. You have your license plate way up high. I don't know if I should say this, I'm gonna say it anyway. Um, I'm not gonna say who, but I was traveling with somebody with Ultra and I was getting toll tickets and they wasn't getting toll tickets because the license plate, the uh, camera wasn't picking up their license plates. So. And you see the third brake light right here and this little cutout right here. The bags are the regular standard short bags. On the Street Glide Special, you'll see that you have fascia fillers right here. You also have a tri-bar light. That's a tri-bar light down there. And you have the turn signals and brake signals uh, separated right there instead of just one brake and then the turn signals being up on the tour pack. And then you can see with the drop down bags, how they come and curve around the exhaust right there and how they just look nice and clean being lower like that to the ground. Gives you that nice hot rod look. So people all the time, they take off the tour packs of the Ultra Limited and turn it into like Ultra Limited slash Street Glide. And I can see why, because you get the twin cooled, you get uh, the, uh, the uh, full size tour pack already. You know, you buy this and then you have to buy the tour pack. So you get a lot with this motorcycle and you can always take stuff off, store it in the garage. But this one, you have to buy a lot of things to make it like this but you also will never have the twin cooled heads on a street glide it's not going to happen so if that's a big deal that you really want that then start this way and make it look like that there's no lights other than this brake light right here now i know some aftermarket companies being custom dynamics that makes a brake light that is run brake and turn signals integrated so you should check that out but with this situation how it is if you just took off this tour pack you only have a brake light here now there's some filler lights that go in here that look really cool my dad has them on his bike he has the brake lights on his bike so there's a lot of things you can do to it to take off the tour pack and make it look a lot like a street glide and most people when they're riding one up or just want to change up the look they will take their ultra limited take the tour pack off of it and make sure that they have some lights already some uh, run light some run brake turn signals on the back and uh, have the best of both worlds doesn't take much a windshield change turn signals on the back you basically have a street glide with, with spot lamps on the front and some people have even taken their spot lamps off the front of it all right guys so here's the thing right here now i told you that it is easier to take stuff off and to make it more like a street glide. But I can also argue the point, it would be best to take a street glide and make it more like ultra limited. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And the reason why I say that, I would recommend for someone who is a smaller stature, weaker in the legs, someone who uh, can't manage a whole lot of weight to take this and turn it into that. And the main reason for that is because this, the Ultra Limited, weighs around 910 pounds. The Street Glide weighs around 829 pounds. Even with the tour pack on the back, let's say the tour pack, which we know it doesn't, but let's say it does, adds 30 pounds, then you're still at 860 pounds versus 910 pounds. And having the low seat height having the low stance and the lower weight for someone who's weaker or someone who wants to not deal with a, uh, a 910 pound motorcycle, the street glide would definitely be the way to go. So that's the advantage of buying a street glide and turning it into an ultra. The street glide and the ultra for someone who's six foot six 
which bike do I fit better on? You're gonna be surprised. I actually fit better on the Street Glide than I do the Ultra. And the reason why is the seating position. And I'll show you in just a second. Well, I'll get back to that in just a second. Well, let me tell you about this. I rode this motorcycle, my Street Glide Standard, from Tennessee to California. And the seat wasn't very comfortable, but I made it. But the first thing I would do for anybody who's six foot three and above is to order a tall seat. And either motorcycle, I would have to order a tall seat to make it comfortable for anyone above, I'd say six foot three, maybe even six foot two. This motorcycle has me sitting on the tank. This motorcycle has me sitting on the tank. I mean, I'm, it's just crazy how close I'm sitting up on the tank. So let me demonstrate both motorcycles. Okay, so with this Street Glide Special here, standard seat. So you can see, yeah, let me throw one leg up here. <laughs> kind of a, kind of a close quarters, tight fit. Road Glide people don't even say it before you even say that. If you haven't watched the last video, go back to the last video and check that out. But it's a tight fit and in tight turning, sometimes I would almost hit my knee. No, not almost, I hit my knee in tight turning. So I had to get an extended seat because I'm too far up on the tank right here. With the Ultra Limited, oh, sorry, that's another thing. You have to kick over the, uh, you can't kick over it. My dad, when he gets on his bike, he just kicks through. So I see why he does that now. The tour pack is in the way, so you kind of got to kick over it or just step over it or get on the high side like he does, but I'm just going to do this for now. Kick over it here, or kick through and lift it up. And you can see immediately I can feel the weight difference between this motorcycle and that motorcycle because the weight is higher. It's up higher on this bike versus that one. And if you thought I was on the tank on that one, I'm really on the tank right here. This is just, it's just too much. Reason being, the back seat is super plush for the back seat rider. And um, I need, they need room back there. So uh, I understand. But for me, I would have to have a different seat. Uh, yeah, I couldn't ride this motorcycle like this. Not for very long, but let me show you. I'll put it on, show you this. So that's, that's what it looks like right there with my leg on it. Yeah, I am too far up. I'm actually getting a cramp right now, just sitting here. I'd have to get a seat that pushes me back further. Moving both bikes around. I can roll that bike around easier than I can roll this around. When I'm talking about rolling around, moving around in the garage, moving around where you have to, your bike's not started, you're just pushing it around. And here's the reason why. These things here, when I'm pushing it, they're constantly hitting my calf every time. Now you can move it up. Still sticks out right here and it still hits the back of your calf. There's one more thing I just, I just noticed. I didn't even say anything about. The little side wing deflectors, that's different. Street Glide doesn't have those. And these actually do a pretty good job. Now you can put these on a Street Glide. That's, that's easy. Hey, this is Chad Busby with Bootlegger Harley Davidson. Wanted to thank Paul for coming in today and showing you all about these bikes and invite you in Anytime you're in the area, we're located in West Knoxville on Lovell Road. Come in and check out the Ultra and the Street Glide Special and all the other models in the line. All right, guys, that's it. Um, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. I feel like I'm still missing something on this, so if I did, put it in the comment section below, and uh, I may be missing something on this as well. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, bike comparisons like this, please subscribe. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when all videos are uploaded and also comment. I love to hear from you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Keep gliding, whether it's an ultra, street glide, or a road glide. Keep gliding, and as always, have a blessed day.